have to give me information. I'd be more than happy to read it, and then we could go through it politely, like you mentioned. We are going through it politely, but you're not complying with a lawful order. No, I think I just asked for um, you to provide me information on that order, and you haven't provided me information, and you're taking that as me not following the order. All I'm asking is for you to maybe pull up the website or show me the legislation that says that I have to provide my information in this case. Okay. Twenty-four, twenty-four. Twenty-four, twenty-four. Can you get a CPD unit to roll by my location, uh, Jackson? I think I'm on sixteenth or seventeenth. Twenty-four, twenty-four. They can come code one. This is not a emergency situation. <laughs> All you guys that are recording, I'm also recording just so you know. Okay. I don't know. I just asked for one. You heard. No, I know, but did they do give an ETA, or do you have an estimate? They haven't given me an ETA, nope. You don't have an idea of how quick it takes for your team to respond to things like this? Nope. Hmm. I already told you, you could be rolling down the road by now if you were cooperative. I am cooperative. I think you, I'm just asking for information. You're not cooperative, but I don't think it's uncooperative to ask for information. Well... So the violation that I stopped you for is 811-307, failure to drive within the lane. So that's the first part. Well, I think that the reason that we're disagreeing is because you have me failing to be in a lane, yeah. but I don't see any lines on this road to begin with. Okay. Second of all, I don't think that I was in this quadrant yeah, of the road that you're claiming that I was. I, so I, I think that that's why we have a disagreement on what the rule is okay. and why I have to provide you information. All right. I'd love to read more if you... I'm working on it.
Yeah, here he is. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm well. So I'm out with this citizen on a bicycle stop, but I don't know the citizen's name to tell you because the citizen won't tell me their name. Okay. Uh, I stopped them for a simple violation riding the wrong way on the roadway. As you can see, we've attracted a small crowd, so uh, it's not really contentious, but the person's refusing to identify themselves. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they even have ID because they every question that I ask, we go in a circular arg argument wherein they state I don't answer questions. So okay. it's, a, it's a minor stop to start with, but it's just where we're at. And I'm recording, so you know, as is half of the... Okay. So she's refusing area. to identify herself with the in relation in to regards traffic to stop? Yes. Okay. But not driving a vehicle, so... I think that there's some alternative facts that you do need to be aware of. Um, he mentioned that I was sitting on this side of the road and made the assumption that this middle line of the precinct was the marker of the road. I also mentioned that there weren't any lines on the road, um, so I don't think the second thing that I think is important to note is that when I did come on down this road, I will admit, you know, um, crossing the street, you have to pass this part of the road. Um, but for him to say that I was on this side of the road versus that one, I don't think that that's quite fair. And I think that he's coming up with these facts to um, assist his story in the way that his perspective is aligning. Okay. I appreciate that. You do understand this isn't in a courtroom, though, correct? No, I do. Okay. But I do think it's important for me to articulate my position in the situation. Okay. Yeah. Would you be more willing to talk to me than him since I'm here now? Um, I think that I'm, I've been as verbal as I am in this morning. So, earlier she did request a, another officer, and she would she did say she would talk to them. I knew that was a ruse. I didn't summon you so that that would happen, because I knew she wouldn't do that. I summoned you kind of to be a witness to this whole well, I think circus. The reason, the reason I asked for an ultra, a different officer was because I asked for him to... Ma'am, would, would you mind talking over here so we don't... Of course, we, yeah. we stay out of traffic. So I was actually asking for him to show me, provide information stating that I had to give my information over on this stop. Um, I also think that the quantifiers for this, what a traffic stop is, I'd like to be able to see that legislation or what kind of ruling it is that says, oh, I'm on this side of the road versus that side of the road, if there's differences between lines on the road, or if this center line that he seems is important is important in this case. And I also would like to know, um, do I have to provide my information? And I would like to see that in writing as well. Okay, so so you, you do, when he affects an awful stop, you do have to provide identification of the yourself. So he can hold you here until a time in which he you know, does identify you, okay? Uh, depending on how things go and the facts of the articulable case in this in this matter, you know, it can lead into an arrest, and it, you know, it may not. It could be a violation, or it could be a verbal warning. I don't know. I'm not the stopping officer. Right, and and I suggested and have already had this conversation a little bit. I said that most likely I'm stopping her with the. Uh, intent to educate about why it would be dangerous to ride down the opposite side of the roadway and that if she failed to comply i could arrest her for obstructing a uh, police officer uh, obstructing Is governmental justice for you to know my information in order to educate me on the law Yes, it is. It's required. It's required of you, and it's required of me by my 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 um, boss. Do you have something that I can confirm that it's required, other than just you so, saying so? Yes, I do. But you see, the problem is, I have my cell phone. I don't have my my law book, and I don't have the department's policies, rules, and procedures. We don't carry that with us. It's mm -hmm. it's computerized. And you, if you received a citation or were arrested, your defense attorney or you yourself, if you're representing yourself through discovery could request all of that information to support your case and disprove what I, the prosecuting officer, would be alleging. However, it is customary in our society that when a police officer who's clearly identified as such tells you to pull over for a violation, you go along with the program. That is the requirement. You, you, you are lawfully required to pro provide identification and then the officer gets to decide whether you get a warning, a ticket, or you get arrested if you've committed a crime. So it seems to me that there's a few issues here. So it seems to me you want to hold me to a law that you can't prove or show me. You don't know that I can't prove that. 
Uh, okay, so you, I am all I'm asking is for your law book. You said you don't have it with you. So how can I even know that what you're telling me is the truth? I, I showed you the law. Okay. Go ahead. You have to understand, people who look like me are often. What do you look like? I, you keep saying that. I don't understand what you look like. How do you look any different from me? Okay, well, I'm an African American mixed woman. Um, okay. I am a petite figure. So I will say that men who are in a police uniform often abuse their power and the rules that they have. All I am asking is for you to show me the rule okay. of, of this violation that I have. Did I don't. All I have right now for verbal confirmation okay. is for your friend or your colleague and you telling me what the rules are. All well, I'm asking we for is... We don't even know each other. I've never met this man well, before. From, I'm sorry. From a civilian standpoint, you two are colleagues. Okay. So, and he's the one that rolled up to help with the situation. Because like, you so asked me to call someone, and I called someone. Um, but in any case, I am just asking for some information um, before I provide my own. I want to see legislation or some book saying that I have to give my information. Yeah. It's not that I'm not being compliant, and it's not that I'm, um, you know, not respecting authority, which, you know, I don't. But um, yeah, it's, that's, I think that it's important for you to... I don't think this is passive resistance. All oh, I'm exactly asking is for is. you to provide me information, and you're going to do so. So I don't feel like I have to provide my information. He, he doesn't have to show that either. So if he is, he's doing it out of courtesy just to be kind. I don't think that your job should have any courtesy. I think kindness should be the the principle of your job. I don't think courtesy should be an option. Well, I have been courteous. As you should be. Okay. So we don't need to argue about that because I have been courteous. I'm now looking at the vehicle code. I'll give you the applicable law. Does it apply to vehicles or does it apply to bicycles? So Oregon defines bicycles as a vehicle. Okay. Most states do. So do I need a license to be riding this bicycle? You do not. But they still, in law, define it as a vehicle when it's ridden on the roadway, which it was. Okay. And that means you have to apply by the vehicle laws, which you were not. And that's why I stopped you. I don't arbitrarily stop people. I think that the reason that you're saying that the rule is what I was violating, but you and I have a difference of even violating the rule. I'm arguing... Right. Didn't and that's why we have court. Like, like the other officer suggested, that's why we have court. So if at the end of this I gave you a citation and you felt that was wrongfully issued... I don't in get the case, final say. You don't need my information to yeah. give me a warning. I, you could just say, hey, well, citizen. I, I don't really want to give you a warning any longer. I feel like you're. you're I no longer to wish to give you a warning. My information I wish to give you a citation now. It. Are you hearing what I'm con what I'm saying? You're I now wish. So that I can't hear what you're saying. All I'm right. verbalizing and you're trying to talk under me. I wasn't finished my, with my sentence. Okay. You're trying to underscore what I'm saying. So, no, I didn't hear what you're saying. Please repeat yourself. I no longer wish to give you a warning. So now. I need your identification to give you a citation, because that's what I intend to do. I don't feel comfortable giving you my information. I understand that. There will be consequences if you make that choice. And do you have ruling or anything that will show me these consequences, other than your verbal affirmations? Yeah. Well, can I please see those? Do you have a, it's harder for me to do on my phone, do you have the little pocketbook? Yeah. I've got traffic and criminal, which one would you like? Both, actually. Okay. It's traffic. Perfect. Criminal. Thank you. I guess I need to throw these in my bike bag next time I go on bike patrol. Well, it would be good to have all your materials for doing your job. That's true.
Okay, so the first law that I'll draw your attention to, this is a, a violation law, but it's 811295, failure to drive on right. I'm familiar, I understand that this is a law. Okay. I don't, I, that's not what I'm contesting. I'm just asking. Um, you want to know how I have the authority to ask you for your information? How you have the authority to ask for my information and how you can dignify me being on this side of the road versus well, that side of the road. Why do you say dignify? Because that's not. I, not dignify. I mean more, um. What is the difference? Be? Like, how can you tell that I was on this side of the road versus that side of the road? My visual observations. Footage? My visual observations. And the court has so, upheld that officer's visual observations. This is what I'm saying, though. You're, you're making your observations based on this median in this road. Yes. But this isn't a line in the road. It I is a line in the road. It's a physical line. It's a line in the road, but I don't recognize this as the median. So okay, you're trying well. to say that this is the Ma'am, I can't, I can't so fix all of your, your uh, belief systems. I mean... My belief systems? I'm yeah. just articulating the situation to you. No, you're articulating your interpretation, which is nonsensical. That's clearly the middle of the road as... Uh, um, the middle of the road? This whole slab and this slab are about equal, uh, equal um, length. And there's a whole this, extra section here. The this middle is, of the road is right here. No, it's not, ma'am. Please. I can see down the whole road right in the middle. All right. Please go stand back so on the So I curb. think that this is what I'm trying to articulate. Yeah. You have I a defense you. of me being on the side of the road. Okay. There aren't lines here. I understand what I you're saying. I believe in my own experience as a yeah. citizen and I understand as what a you're saying. person in this situation, I was on, as you mentioned, the right side of the road. Okay. The right side of this line okay. of your marking I, I understand what you're saying. So that's what I'm trying to articulate to you. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Should be highlighted. It's interfering, right? Mm -hmm. Ultimately. Yes. Yeah. I don't believe it's wrong so for me to ask. Let me you let me tell you the statute that's going to lead to your arrest if you don't comply, okay? You're going to arrest me for asking for information? I'm going to arrest you for failing to comply if you don't. So how am I failing to comply if I'm just asking for information? Hold on, no. Sir? You've asked me to tell you how I can do this, so I'm going to do that. Do you want to hear or not? I would love to hear, yes. Okay. That's the whole point of me standing here. Okay, great. So let's let's do that. It's called interfering, and I'm going to give you the definition of it. There's going to be three different laws. It's going to be failure to provide info in connection with the stop, failure to provide info in connection with an arrest warrant, and interfering. Okay. But you're not understanding the principle of the situation. The uh, principle I of the because he told you he was going to give you a citation. Now no, initially he mentioned that he was going to give a warning, and when I asked for information... But because you wouldn't when comply... I asked, can I please finish my sentence? Yeah, go ahead. When I asked for information stating, why do you need my information in order to give me a warning... You mentioned that that was the rule and that was the law. And I asked you to provide me that rule and that law, mm -hmm. and you're still looking to do so. So all I'm doing is asking, why do I have to give you my information right in this and I'm, moment? I'm trying to tell you that. you're only trying to give me a warning in the first place. I'm not trying to give you a warning any longer. I've clarified that. Your you lack of cooperation, <laughs> your lack of cooperation has made it clear to me that a warning will not, not suffice to change your behavior. Can you call it, can you define what not cooperation is? He said it best, passive resistance, which so is what, what you're about, giving. So can you define passive resistance for me a little bit better? What you're doing is the dictionary definition. So passive resistance is me articulating my... No, it's arguing with me when I've, out, I've given you a lawful order and you've refused to comply with it. I don't believe that I'm trying to refuse you, sir. I'm just asking for if you If you were refusing me, I would already have your ID. You'd already be down the road. I think that refusal mm. and submission are different. A person commits the crime of interfering with a peace officer or parole or probation officer if the person knowing that another person is a peace officer or parole officer, as defined in ORS, intentionally acts in a manner that prevents or attempts to prevent a peace officer or parole officer from performing the lawful duties of the office with regards to another person. You are the one that are preventing yourself. You don't even have these books in your bag. I am not the one preventing you. You are the preventing Refuses yourself. I am asking you for information. You are preventing yourself from having success in so, the situation by not being able to provide Basically at that me. point, unless... So, here, here's where it's at right now. You have an opportunity at this moment to give me your identification and you can have a citation, you can leave. If you fail to do that, I'm going to arrest you at this point. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are going to arrest me yes. for not giving you information. Correct. When I was asking why yes. you needed my information. Yes. So I would like to get you to cooperate and give me your identification willingly. If you refuse to do that, you are under arrest. And do you what, understand? I would like to have some more clarification on There's this. There's not going to be more clarification. I need a yes or a no from you. I need you to either give me your identification now or you're going to be placed under arrest. Which do you want to do? 
I don't answer questions. Okay, you're under arrest. I don't answer questions. Stop! 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 Okay, you are under arrest. A31, send us more. Stop! Hey, stop! She's Get not, back now! She's not complying. Okay, roll onto your stomach. Hey, I will comply. I need both of you roll, to get off of roll. me. That's not going to happen. Roll I, on I your need stomach. Both of you to get off of roll, me. Roll, roll. I need you to get off of me. Roll on your stomach. Stop. I need you. I'm not moving. Roll on your stomach. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Place your hand behind your back. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. They say I'm resisting. I'm not moving. Just stay still. You're fine. Stay still. All right. You're under arrest for interfering with the peace officer. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney, to have him or her in present with you during questioning. No. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you before any questions are asked. If you do choose to make a statement, you can stop talking at any time. Do you understand your rights? I don't answer questions. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good. I think we'll just wait for that then. Keep her here. Um, I just have a question. Okay, not right now, okay? That's a negative We'll get someone to answer your questions in a minute, alright? 24-24. Oh, this radio. 2424, uh, one in custody for interfering with the peace officer. May I sit up? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Here, we're, we're going we're gonna to help you so you don't. I don't need your help. I can Stop. sit up myself. Stop. I asked to sit up by Stop myself. Stop, you're not sitting up. Please let me sit up by myself. Oh. I would rather lay down. I would rather lay down. Hey, I would right. rather lay down. I would rather lay down. Stop. I'm Please let me sit up by myself. No. Please let me sit up by myself. I will sit on no. the curb. Please let me sit up by myself. I will no. sit on the curb. No, you will not. You'll stay just like this. Understand? I don't answer questions. Please let me sit on the side of the curb. We are being gentle. She's not. not Please let me sit up on the curb. Please. Sir, can you Watch please stop touching me? Please stop touching me. You're making me uncomfortable. Please stop touching me. You don't get to tell. Please stop touching me. Am I am I resisting you, sir? No. Please stop touching me. Okay, stay where you are then. May I sit up? No, you may not. Can we talk to her? No, you may not. Yes, you can. No, you may not. I am a human. I am allowed to speak. You're under arrest right now. I am allowed to speak. You stay back, all right? I'm not doing anything. Stay back, or you're going to get arrested. Also. I need assistance. I need help. Can you call my mother? Someone else is going to call it. It's unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I agree. Stay back. I'm making a phone call. Stay back. I'm you can make a phone call from over there. Get over there. Now. You don't have a right to insert yourself into this. Keep them back. They keep crowding in. More of a concern on this side. Please send her a video or something. Nope. Oh wait, it's what? Uh, you stay with everyone. Yeah. Like yeah, please. Okay. I haven't even identified this person yet. No. I want you to stay like that. I'm really glad that I get to do everything that you want. Rather than the things that are a part of the law. You're now under arrest, so your rights are a little bit limited at this moment as far as your freedom. <laughs> My freedom was in violation until you decided so. I don't know what that means. Yeah. We do need. What's up? No, we do need you. Yes. May I sit up? No, you may not. Oh, 
man. Hi. I haven't identified her. That's the whole reason we're in handcuffs is refusing to provide identification on a, a stop bicycle. And, and she's very uh, litigiously oriented. Watch her cuffs too. I didn't. I put them on very loose because I didn't want to hurt her wrists. Okay. May I sit up? Last time she sat up, she was trying to do her own thing. May I please sit up? So. I wasn't trying to do anything. All I asked was that I wanted to sit up. And then when I okay. she's and they were throwing me up, I asked to lay down okay. and then they laid me down. So, so I'd just like to sit up on my own. Okay. So ma'am, I'm Officer Larkin of Corvallis Police. Just so you know, I'm recording you know, I'm she's to be searched and transferred. So I, I understand that at this point, uh, what I'm... up to see you? This is for you. Sure. We can, we can sit you up if you're going to be cooperative. I don't need help. Okay. I can do it myself. Okay. Okay. Hi. So my, my understanding of what needs to happen now is that we need to search you and then... We're going to transport you. I don't feel comfortable with you searching me. Okay. Well, at this point, it's not optional. Okay? So you're going to be searched. I'm a female officer. That's why I'm being... I don't think that that searching. makes it any better. Okay. I'm going to search you anyway, okay? I'm just letting you know. Okay? Would you like me to stand up? I would like you to stand up. Oh, please I'm don't touch me. I'm no. going Sir. to touch you. You're on. I can stand up on my own. I don't need assistance. Okay. So my patrol car's over here. We're going to walk over down to my patrol car, okay? Will you please don't hand me like your care? Well, I can, I can no. walk kindly. Please just don't no, handle okay. me. You're in custody, so you're not going to walk on your own, okay? I would like this to go cooperatively. I don't want anything to happen, okay? This is going, so we're going to walk down this here This is not going cooperatively from the beginning, then. This okay. has not been cooperative from the beginning. Okay, the so I wasn't here for the beginning. Been difficult. From I'm, the beginning. I'm here now. I've been cooperative the, the, the contact that I'm having with you, I would like for us to work together, okay? I understand you. Okay. Disappointed yeah. the way it goes these days. Yes, I, I totally agree. Yeah. I, I tried in every way I could to not let it go here. I disagree with that, sir. I know you do, but that's been your attitude all along. You disagree with everything I say. Where does that leave me in the performance of my duties? Do you want me to leave the key on the, on the hook here? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Are you okay physically? Physically, I'm fine. I didn't... None of us got hurt. It wasn't that. It's just... a cover shift on my day off and I'm sick and then I make uh, one traffic stop and I hit the jackpot a passive act, passive resistance jackpot Twenty-four, twenty-four. I'm code four. I have ample cover from CPD. A subject's in custody. Female officers are searching the subject. Can you run my hand? 
2424, uh, you could notify an on-duty supervisor that uh, there are multiple bystanders videotaping and the subject is uh, has been non passively non-cooperative and this is going to be uh, a bigger deal. She's not injured. Was there force used? Just she tried to pull away from us when we put her in custody. There was minimal force, just just overpowering her. Yeah. Um, when she went to the ground, she went down on her back, and she was laying on her back on the ground. We told her to roll over, and she was not cooperating with that. So pulled her around to her stomach, then handcuffed her, then everything was fine. She asked to sit up, we said okay, started to sit her up, and then she was trying to say, don't touch me and break free, and oh, yeah. pinned her back down to the ground. And We've had an audience throughout the interaction, and they just materialized. I didn't notice them when, it appeared to me when I was riding down the street following her, that she was by herself, but I think they came from inner zone, and uh, that's my belief. I'm not talking you, to you, ma'am. I'm you want speaking to the, to, the crime. to the officer. Uh, I don't need them for anything. For, for what I'm hearing, it doesn't sound like this is a force investigation. Okay. It's just empty hand custody techniques. Okay. Sorry to pull you into this. That's all right. I'll write you a sub. Okay. Uh, I'm a week behind, so okay. I'll right. get it to you as fast as I can. I understand. I still don't know who she is. I'm going to get my gloves on and dig in there. Yep. I don't know. If there, there was a period of time where I thought maybe she was trying to you know, conceal her ID because she's somebody who's wanted, but now I'm just thinking she just doesn't believe in yeah. any kind of rules, apparently. You know? That's what I thought at first, too, is, you know, is she trying to conceal for a warrant? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. You know, is that's the most common. But, yeah. You know, she's absolutely 100% doing it to, in connection with, you know, a traffic citation, and then... Yeah. You know, so... Jeez. Yeah, I don't... I was trying to explain it to her also. That I know. It, it, she was a little more uh, reasonable with you, but she wasn't going to... She was going to do the same dance, mm -hmm. clearly. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. May I you jump in there and find her identification? Sure. You want me to transport her? Okay. Yes. Okay, this is what I was after the whole time. It's a weird choice to make, in my opinion. 24, 24, 12, 10, and 20 ODL. Four, three, two, four, five, one, six. Last of Hanson. So she's 1221 valid, just wants to be difficult apparently, I don't know. Seems like an odd choice to me. You're making a political statement. Yeah, I suppose. Do you need her bike or anything? No. Okay. In fact, if, if they're not going to keep her in, they're not going to hold her in jail. I mean, I might as well decide and release her here. Isn't that cleaner? I mean, I'd, I'd look at her release Would her. you? Okay. Yeah, All right. get her photo on file. Fair enough. And then, uh, anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Because, uh, yeah. And what's her last? Hanson. Hanson. Genesis. Can we take her bike down there with her so she can be released with the property? Or yeah. Okay, that'd probably be the choice. As I, I'm on a bike, I don't have a car to. Okay. 
four eight ninety eight. Can we fit the bike in there, or do I need a ticket? It's like a smaller thing. Uh, do you have a box? I probably can't fit it. You had a box? A box. Like in the uh, back? No, there's no box in the back. So I mean, there's some tubs that are a little taller than... I'll just take it. Okay. Uh, I know she had asked one of her friends to... Wait, oh, is that it? Uh, if, I guess if she released it to her friends, that's that's fine by me. I don't really care if that's, if that's good with her. You want to ask her first? Yeah. To make sure. Yeah, sure. Genesis, do you want your friend to have your bike, or do you want them to take it down to the police station with you? I don't want it at the police station. I want my friend to have my bike. Very good. That's what will happen. So I only grabbed the ID. I did not look through the rest of that. Okay. For what it's worth. Okay. I was only, my interest is to identify her. Only. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll ride down there right now. Okay. And, uh, Okay. Write okay. the citations down there, and okay. they can do what they do with her. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah, you're welcome. And I appreciate you. It all started with just like two people and a bike. Your bike's still there. I know. I'm going to ride down to the, the jail to okay. do what we talked about. And uh, I'm still recording. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off now because the rest is just going to be me riding down the hill.